Australian politicians and lawmakers from 20 countries are trying to stop a Chinese official being voted onto the executive committee of the international crime-fighting agency Interpol. They say the election of Hu Bin Chen could put thousands of Chinese political dissidents abroad at risk. She's been in hiding, a political refugee in France since her husband, a senior Chinese security official, went missing. But now Grace Meng is discarding her anonymity to speak up. I have the responsibility to show my face, to tell the world what happened. She hasn't seen her husband, Meng Hongwei, since he vanished in 2018. Beijing accused him of accepting bribes, stripped him of his Communist Party membership and jailed him for 13 years. Grace Meng says China has become a monster that can't be trusted. They are the monster now because they eat their children. She's adding her voice to concerns from politicians here and overseas who fear that Chinese official Hu Bin Chen will be voted on to Interpol's executive committee, thereby endangering and silencing Beijing's critics. What concerns me the most is the possibility of allowing Interpol to be used as a vehicle for the repressive policies of the People's Republic of China and the communist regime in China, which I think will do great harm to the international standing of Interpol. And there's growing concern about the nomination of Major General Ahmed Nasser El Raisi from the United Arab Emirates, who's tipped to become Interpol's next president. Lawyers for two British men, a doctoral student and a soccer fan, allege El Racy was complicit in the men's unjust arrest and torture on spying charges. I was threatened um, with, with physical uh, abuse and torture. Uh, they threatened to uh, rendition me overseas to an overseas military base. Human rights organisations fear Interpol will become increasingly influenced by authoritarian regimes. If Iraqi was successful in holding the presidency of Interpol, it will be the day of executing the justice. Interpol is expected to vote on its new leadership team later in the week. Felicity Davey, SBS World News.